Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Joey Horta. As the supply of rapid COVID tests struggles to keep up with the demand, some doctors are concerned about running out of tests for those who actually need them. And to help prevent this from happening, a Waco doctor recommending people cut down on unnecessary testing. 25 News anchor Brianna Malloy has advice from the doctor on when you should get tested and when you shouldn't. At Premier ER and Urgent Care, Dr. Jason Bryan says they've been preparing for this testing surge for months. We didn't know it was going to be this quickly, but uh, I mean, the team is amazing. They stay on top of it. We keep a, a pretty large supply on hand. But as rapid tests become more scarce, doctors want to make sure that the tests stay available for those who need them most. You know, there's a lot of people that are getting tested that you know, it, it may not necessarily, it may not absolutely be necessary. In order to cut down on unnecessary testing, Dr. Bryant offers some tips. Number one, if you've had symptoms for a couple of days and you test positive with an at-home kit, Dr. Bryant says you can trust those results. We get a lot of people that come in that have a, have a positive test, like an over-the-counter test is positive, and they come in because they want to get it confirmed. And I'm like, which who which one are you going to trust? You're going to trust that if we get a negative, are you going to believe ours over theirs? Or, you know, so you don't even necessarily have to confirm a test result. Number two, if a family member has tested positive for COVID, but you're not showing symptoms yourself, Dr. Bryant recommends staying home, but it might be too early to test. So if you test too early and you get a negative result, you may be falsely reassured that everything is okay but you wait 24 hours and all of a sudden now you're going to test positive. And we see that a lot where one person in the family will test positive and you look up and they're, you know, lining up all the kids and the grandma and the grandpa and the dad, and everybody lives in the household. We're going to get everybody tested when in reality it's, it may not, it may not be necessary. Number three, if a family member has tested positive for COVID and you do show symptoms, in most cases, it's safe to assume that you have COVID even without a test. You don't necessarily have to rush out and get tested. You can assume that you're positive and quarantine with the, with the whole family for the, you know, according to the CDC guidelines. And number four, you don't need to test negative in order to end your quarantine. Instead, you can just follow the CDC's isolation guidelines. You know, about 25% of the people may test positive for up to two weeks. So even though you're no longer contagious or infectious, while each person's situation is a little different, Dr. Bryan says reducing redundant testing can help to make sure there's enough for everyone. When we exhaust the tests, when it may not be necessary, you just put yourself where we could easily run out of tests. Brianna Beloy reporting, and if you're experiencing symptoms and you're looking for a place to get tested, Premier says they're giving rapid tests to walk-in patients. Waco Family Medicine also says you can call them if you've got symptoms and you don't have a primary care provider. You can also find more testing locations at covidwaco.com and on the Texas Department of State Health Services website as well this morning.